super yummy Mexican dish. Burritos! Yeah, Mexican bean burritos. It's vegetarian and it's delicious. And super yummy. And super healthy too. So to make our yummy burritos, we're gonna need our tortillas, tortillas. wheat tortillas, Mexican rice, refried beans, salsa, homemade sour cream, and homemade guacamole. Now let's see how to make this beautiful soft wheat tortilla. I have two cups of wheat flour. I'm gonna add half teaspoon of salt to it. A teaspoon of baking powder. This baking powder gives a nice soft texture to the flour. I'm gonna mix this very well so that it's evenly distributed all over the flour. I'm gonna add some oil. I'm gonna add a tablespoon of oil. And I'm gonna give a nice mix to make sure this flour gets a nice shortening. I'm gonna add nice warm water to this. Make sure the water is warm so that you can easily knead it into a soft pliable dough. You may feel a little messy but yeah I love using hands. Make sure to add water little by little and just knead it into a soft dough. So it's been 30 minutes. Look how soft and smooth the dough is. I'm gonna make it into nice big balls. So I'm going to divide it into super big balls. So we have made 8 tortilla balls with 2 cups of wheat flour. I'm going to again rest it for 10 minutes and let's see next. Now roll these balls into nice big thin circles and then toss it onto your hot tawa. Once you see nice bubble coming up, it's time to turn. Keep tossing it on both sides until very well done. Look at the bubbles. Now transfer it into a plate. Wheat tortillas is nice, soft and ready. Now let's see how to make guacamole. So I'm gonna cut my avocados. avocados and I mushed it up so well and add some salt and some cumin powder and some lemon juice ow, ow, ow. <laughs> this lemon juice gives a nice tanginess add some pepper and I have half onions chopped and now I'm going to add some in and some tomatoes and mix it well again. And also you can give it a nice mush. Yummy guacamole is ready. Now let's see how to make our homemade delicious sour cream. So over here I have a cup of yogurt that's been hung for three hours. And I've drained up all the moisture using a cheesecloth. Scoop this no moisture yogurt into this bowl. So then I'm gonna add in a tablespoon of fresh cream. Then we're gonna add lemon juice because it is sour cream and we have to make it sour. Just a little bit, that's enough. And then always a little bit of salt. Then we're gonna mix this up. So homemade sour cream is ready and I'm gonna kind of get this really smooth and nice. Now let's see how to make a tasty salsa. I'm gonna add a one chopped onion and a half capsicum and two chopped tomatoes. And we have one chili and some cilantro. And let's add some spices. I have cumin powder. I'm adding quarter teaspoon. And some salt. Teaspoon of lemon juice. And pepper. And I'm gonna give it a nice mix. You can also put it in the fridge for a nice taste. Mexican salsa is ready. And let's see how to make this Mexican rice that's great for lunch. I'm gonna add some oil. Here I'm adding a tablespoon of oil. 
Once the oil is heated, add some garlic cloves. I'm adding three garlic cloves, finely chopped, and two green chilies. You can use jalapeno peppers if it's available, but I'm gonna add two green chili. Saute it for a few seconds. Now I'm gonna add one onion, finely chopped. Let the onion turn translucent. You need not fry until it turns golden. And I'm gonna add half green bell pepper, finely chopped. I've blended two tomatoes into a fine puree here. It's approximately three by fourth cup of puree. I'm gonna add this into it. Then I'm gonna add some cumin powder. I'm adding three by four teaspoon of cumin powder some oregano it adds a nice flavor to this dish then we have our mexican seasoning here i'm going to add a teaspoon of mexican seasoning this gives a nice flavor to this rice i'm gonna add some salt that's required for the rice a nice aroma is coming from this oregano and mexican seasoning today we are gonna cook a cup of rice add two cups of water to the dish I have taken a cup of rice, basmati rice, I have washed it and soaked it for 30 minutes. When this comes to a nice boil, I am going to add this rice to it. So I am going to cover this and cook until the rice is well done. I am going to put it in medium heat. Let's wait for the rice to get cooked. Wow, look at this beautiful rice, it's been cooked very well. I'm gonna mix it and the Mexican rice is ready. And finally, and the most healthy, let's start to see how to make some refried beans. So we're gonna start by turning on my stove and then I'm gonna add olive oil. Then we're gonna add in some chopped garlic. This is two pots of chopped garlic. We're gonna add that in. And then we're gonna add one chopped onion. And we're gonna saute that really quick. So we're quickly gonna add three of our powders. So we're gonna start with some salt, some chili powder for our spice, some cumin powder. I love cumin, it's like this beautiful flavor. And then we're gonna give that another saute. Then I have some red beans over here that have been cooked. So I'm gonna dump that in. I just love red beans, they're my favorite kind of beans. So we're gonna turn this into medium heat and then we're gonna mash up our beans. So I've soaked these beans overnight and I've cooked them for 15 whistles in a pressure cooker. So I've mushed up my beans, you can mush them like three by four or you can mush them completely. I just love a little bit of that bean texture to be in my unfried beans. And so finally we're gonna add a little bit of lemon juice. I'll put some cilantro. Just finish that off. My refried beans are done. Now let's see how to make our burritos. So let's start assembling our delicious burritos. We're gonna start with some beans. Refried beans, yep. She made it. This refried beans taste exactly like a meat. meat. Yeah, ground. It looks like meat, <laughs> like minced meat. It's, it's fake nice meat. and rich with protein. So I'm gonna dump in some rice. This is a plain Mexican rice. You can add veggies or chicken to it. We have just add bell pepper. It tastes like exactly like tomato rice. It looks like tomato rice. Yeah, it looks like Indian tomato rice. But the oregano and the Mexican seasoning added a little yeah, bit different. Yeah, they changed the flavor a little bit. Now we're gonna add some salsa. Salsa made by Bargo. Yeah, that's why it's delicious. It gives a nice fresh crunch. Yeah, it's like, juice. you know, the and fresh flavors. veggies, yeah. Then we're gonna add some fresh guacamole. Guac. I'm gonna add some. This adds like a little fresh spring. Yeah. And Finally, to top it off, yeah. it's sour cream. The burritos is not complete without a sour cream. Yeah, it's and the nice beans. Flavor, yeah. And you want to spread it evenly so that every bite has a little bit of that creaminess. And the cheese, for, you can just top it up with cheese. It's nice, it's flavorful, but yeah. Now yeah. mom's gonna fold it because we don't want to break our burritos. Yeah. Make sure you fold like this and then hold it on tight and push it harder. Make sure it doesn't come out. Sorry, I'm just messing a little, but yeah. That's it. Yep, we got a little messy, but that's okay. Yeah. So we've got our burritos delicious. 
lunch is ready. Yeah. And this is just one is so filling, and your dinner or lunch is done. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Barger was taking the first bite. How mm -hmm. is it, Barger? Is it good? Cause I can't wait. Bubble. <laughs> it's like it feels like it's filled with power. Yeah. This is power also nutrients packed inside just one. Yeah. yeah. And you try it at your home. Definitely you love it. Tell us in the comments how you love this wrap and overall. Yeah. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Bye. See you next week. Yeah. Every Friday, 8 p.m.